Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. Quick video here on my 2024 top price for Dogecoin. Now, last year was a bear market all throughout last year, except for what was it, May? Maybe we got some. We got Pepe went crazy, and then we had all these meme coins going crazy. Not all coins, but meme coins were being created, and they went with Mong and all these other tokens were going crazy. SpongeBob SquarePants and all. This. I mean, people were creating all types of Spider Man, Batman. It was just a craze of stupidity, right? But um, it was fun, and uh, it was degenerate, but it was. It was it was fun. People made some money and people lost a lot of money though. But people made money as well. So um yeah, that was an interesting time, man. Um that was basically the only time we had a bull cycle, except for the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year last year we had a bull cycle. We had a little bit of a bull run there and then the, and then also some around that May June time period we had a nice little run there. And then we had a nice little run at the end of the year as well. So we had three different bull runs uh last year but they were really you know they weren't that big you know um compared to the rest of the rest of the year was kind of miserable for most people um so anyways here we are with dogecoin and i'm looking at the all chart so you guys can see we've been talking about dogecoin for look at these look at these um that's why i always click these things off because you never know what's going to pop up on these things man it, it, it could be an elephant it could be a lion it could be it could be somebody's toes. I mean, it's ridiculous. You see Aisha Curry talking about uh, Steph Curry has a fit, foot fetish and she sends him foot pics. I mean, and then and then and then people went in the internet and searched it and said, "Oh my God, other women were other women were 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 sending uh, were were tweeting Steph Curry foot pics back in the day as well." So some women already knew he had a foot fetish, and so people were saying, "How did other women?" Back in those days, no, he had a foot fetish, which was kind of crazy. But anyways, um, yeah, so anyways, uh, uh, be careful. Anything can pop up here. Now they got Capital One here. So, you know, like, uh, okay, so um, we're at $0.07 cent right now, and, and you can see the all price um, is up 14,000%. Okay, which is amazing. So what was it right here? I mean, golly, who knows, right? So that's a six. What what market cap with that? Sixteen? Is that a sixteen billion dollar market cap? I don't know what market cap with that was. What was the market cap? Oh uh, no, I had more than sixteen. What was the market cap up here? Let's see if I can click it. Uh, twenty five? No, that's not the market market cap. Okay. <laughs> uh. Wow, was it really eighty nine billion? Wow, eighty nine billion dollars for a market cap of Dogecoin at the peak. Wow, twenty five billion dollars in volume every twenty four hours. You want to talk about a bull cycle? Wow, and you can see. That was a climax wave five. So here's your one, two, three, four, and that was just a massive wave five of a climax, right? That was your climax there of the cycle, right? So wave fives usually don't go higher than three unless it's a climax of a cycle, right? All right. Um, wow, that is incredible. But um, okay, so now we're at fourteen thousand. Um, you know, uh, but back up there we were, I don't know, a hundred thousand maybe, you know what I mean? So, so where will Dogecoin go 
you know what price would it be at the top so let's let's just take a look at the um the pricing right now we're at seven you know under eight cents and uh we did have an alert on this one on patreon it did break to the downside and it did hit our targets to the downside so you could you could have went short on it you could did you could have went on margex or something and did a leverage position on that uh, or or whatever, and made some quick money there on the downside moves. There, it did hit our targets already. So I think we we called for seven. Did it hit seven six? I think on the other one it did hit seven six on here. I don't know if it hit seven six on here. Oh yeah, it did seven five. I mean seven five. There you go. Seven five eight cents and seven five were our targets, and it did hit that exactly. So you could have made a bunch. You could have made some money there, right? So you could have made some money from up here and one hundred x leverage on margex or something like that, and you could have made some money there um you know on the way down for the that that was a quick that was a quick one right so that that, that would have been easy for you so i mean you could have done that right okay um and was that uh, the week i'm not sure if you was that at eight cents or nine uh yeah it was up here we, we we called it here and then there's a big drop right so okay so we had we had a we had an alert on dogecoin and it broke to the downside and if you had put it you know 100x leverage here you know that could have paid off a lot okay so um it is what it is right so i know a lot of you guys don't i don't i don't do leverage unless it's something like marjax where you can actually um like, like matthew perry said where you can actually only lose the money that you put in and not lose your entire account which is awful right and so um so if you do it that way then that's different right so um but anyways so you can go to matthew perry for all that for that information on that um, or you can just go to a lot, you can just go to Marjax, right? Exchange and, and, and get that started. All right. Um, so what price will Dogecoin be? So the seven days is looking like that down 4%, 21%. And the year is, uh, so far up 3%. So I have Dogecoin. Let me go back to the all chart. I have Dogecoin in my heart. I believe not my heart. <laughs> I believe Dogecoin by the end of this year, it, it's going to at least top out before between now and the end of the year. It could top out at $1. It doesn't seem possible right now, but but um, with all the things that I think Elon Musk is going to uh, uh, put in Dogecoin, and uh, and he also has a peer-to-peer -peer payment system coming to Twitter, and it could, I mean, it could feature Dogecoin, right? And uh, which would be massive for Dogecoin, right? Something on Twitter is going to feature, on X is going to feature Dogecoin at some point, you would think. Also, I remember that Apostle Solomon said three coins are going to be very hard to find in the future. Shiba Inu, Luna Classic, and she said Dogecoin. So that means that there's going to be some type of burn mechanism that's going to be coming into Dogecoin, right? So how many, what's the supply of Dogecoin? 142 billion tokens, right? And there's still, and those tokens continue to come. There's no max supply. Um, I think that's going to change at some point. I think Elon's going to, uh, it's going to get with the team and they're going to actually put a max supply for the end of Dogecoin and they're going to, and they're going to turn it from deflationary to inflationary. I mean, from inflationary to deflationary, excuse me. And I think that's what's going to make it jump significantly, right? So the moment Dogecoin stops inflating, um, that's when it's going to, that's when it becomes, uh, it's going to be, it's going to go completely nuts, in my opinion, right? Um, that's when whales are going to load up and say, okay, well, no longer inflationary. So now it's going to be deflationary. So, you know what I mean? So I think the same thing for Polygon, Matic. And um, same thing for them. Once they once they stop inflating, which you know they're gonna run out of tokens at some point, right? Because they do have a max supply, um, and um, so they're gonna start reducing their. They're already starting to reduce their staking rewards now because they're getting closer to their max supply, right? So once Polygon goes inflationary, I mean goes to a deflationary, then that they're gonna absolutely go crazy as well, right? So um, and this is why we're so bullish on Jazzy Coin because it's it's literally done going inflationary and now it's time for jasmine to go deflationary right to reverse so same thing for dogecoin dogecoin continues to add tokens into circulation i think they add 10 i'm not sure if it's ten thousand 
Dogecoin every minute or something like every five minutes or they are adding 10,000 Dogecoin to circling supply. So I don't know. But at some point, I think Elon and them boys are going to be like, hey, we let's uh, stop it here uh, or let's you know stop it at a certain number, maybe 150 and then go and then, and then 150 million is all we need. And then let's go deflationary. Right. Um, and uh, I think if they do that, then I think Dogecoin is really going to take off. So let's just watch Dogecoin this year. And I got go, I got a target of one dollar for Dogecoin. That means it's going to go back up here to seventy, and it's going to actually break through it and go to one dollar, uh, and then uh, and then it's going to pull back uh, from one dollar back to seventy probably, and then it's going to probably hang out here in this area, for, and and then twenty twenty four is going to then take off again, and I think we're going to see um, you know anywhere between one to five dollars in twenty twenty five uh, as we climax um, the uh, the bull cycle. So. All right, so there's going to be spots that are going to be, you know, big moves up and then, then cons big consolidations. Big move up, big consolidations. So um, I think 2024, we can see $1 Dogecoin and then we're going to, then we consolidate and then we, uh, and, and then we come back and then we go through the $1 in 2025 and then we hit uh, one to five dollars in Dogecoin. And I think that's it for the bull cycle because it already has a hundred, that would be over a hundred and forty billion right so um so i think dogecoin can get to 140 billion to anywhere between 140 billion to 300 billion uh somewhere around there maybe even 500 billion yeah, well, it's kind of pushing it you know what i mean um so but but who, who thought it could get to freaking um you know eight eight eighty nine billion here you know 2021 right when nobody was invested now you got all these institutions about to come in with the etfs right and they got to they got to um it got to 89 billion, so it definitely can double or triple that with institutional money pouring in, right? So that's what I see happening for Dogecoin this year. I got it going to one dollar, and of course you can trade with us on Patreon, and um, we'll, we'll be we'll be trading Dogecoin all year. Um, you know, doing and we just did an alert on it last week, and and uh, for those who got uh, went short on it uh, to the downside made some quick money there but we'll be trading it up you know i'm not sure how many times this year uh but we'll be trading it right we always uh dogecoin alerts are always at least five alerts a year on dogecoin right so at least five so um so we'll, we'll at least have some some alerts on dogecoin here and we'll probably uh alert you when it's ready to run up um, but of course if elon musk drops some big news that you know hey, look, we're gonna we're gonna take it to 150 and then we're gonna and then that and then we're gonna stop it from being uh inflationary to deflationary then psh, we you know then those coins are gonna absolutely skyrocket so there'll be we we can't we can't it'll, it'll be out of our hands at that point right if you have it you're good if you don't have it you're probably chasing to get it you know um peace out god bless i'll see you guys in the next video bye